In this video, I'm gonna be going over how to manage marketing inside of your Zoho CRM system. I'm gonna be going over how to use campaigns and tags, and I'm also gonna be talking about a few backend features of Zoho CRM to make managing marketing as easy and effective as possible. Welcome to CRM crew, my name is Nick. Um, if you are signing up to Zoho CRM for the first time, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my link below. There's one for the EU if you're in the EU and one for the US if you are in the US. It really does help the channel out. So without further ado, let's get straight into this quick tutorial. So to manage marketing inside of your Zoho CRM system, my recommendation is to use the campaigns module. So if you can't find it up the top here, just use the three dotted button up the top right hand corner and you should be able to either search for it or it will be in the list here. Now I've got it at the top, so I'm gonna head over to my campaigns and as you can see, I haven't got any in the Zoho CRM system at the moment. But the campaigns area is essentially where you can go ahead and log any marketing campaign that your business might be doing um, inside of the system for every user to see, engage with, and manage as well. So in order to create a new campaign, we need to press the Create Campaign button up the top right-hand corner here. And this is where we fill out some basic information. So we've got the campaign owner that is automatically set as yourself as you're creating the record, but you can change it if needs be. And then from there, we've got the type. So what type of campaign is this? So conference, webinar, public relations partners, we've got email, absolutely everything. So I'm gonna select an email. So this is a marketing email campaign. And then from here, we need to give our campaign a name. Now, I strongly recommend using a uniform campaign name across all of your campaigns just to prevent any confusion. So maybe the name and the date as well, and then the person that's in charge. It's up to you, but have a standard in place just to make it a lot easier to manage. So I'm gonna call this example campaign. And then from here, we can set the status of the campaign. So if you use the drop down menu and see we've got planning, active, inactive, and complete. So is it in the planning stage? Is the campaign live, inactive, or has it been completed? So I'm select planning. And then from here, we can select the start date and end date of our campaign. Now, obviously, as this is an email, it's gonna start and end on the same day. However, let's say it was a trade show, for example, that may go on for a week, two weeks. So you can select with the day it starts and obviously the day it ends as well. From there, we've got our expected revenue, actual cost, and budgeted cost. Now, this is really clever feature. It allows us to track all the financial information associated with this campaign. So firstly, how much do we anticipate we're going to make from the campaign? So as an example, I'm just going to put 10,000. That'll be a very good email campaign. And then from there, we've got our budgeted cost as well. So how much have we um, budgeted for this email campaign? Obviously, as this is email, that's going to be zero. And then maybe our, our actual cost, our actual cost was 50 pounds, for example. We've also got our expected response and numbers sent. Now this is good for email, but this can be interpreted for maybe trade shows, maybe you sent out a load of invites and the number of sent, sent and the expected response as well. So it can be used for multiple different types of campaigns. So we've got expected response, let's say maybe I'm gonna get 250 responses and I'm gonna send out uh, 10,000 emails, there we go. And then finally, we've got the description. So any additional information about this campaign, just make it a little bit easier for everyone to know what's going on, to see what's gotta be done, etc. You can write that in the description there. So once you've filled out all the relevant information, just press the save button. And as you can see, our new campaign has now been created. Now you may be wondering what this is here, and this is a very useful feature. So we associate our leads and contacts and deals with campaigns. If you're not familiar already, when you go ahead and create a lead, a contact or a deal, the system will ask if it has an association with a campaign. So did this deal come from this campaign? Did this contact come from the campaign? So this is where you can go ahead and track that information for the leads and contacts. So if I go ahead, scroll down, you can see we've got obviously the child campaigns, attachments, leads, contacts, deals, where we can also associate from the campaigns area. So if I associate a contact with this particular campaign, I'm gonna select myself, just press the next button, it's gonna ask the status. So planned, invited, sent, received, opened, responded, bounced, or opted out. So I'm gonna say that they have received this email, for example. So this contact has now been associated with the campaign. If we scroll back up, we can see that the count, total count of one, and we've got one contact. If we press the view stats button, we can see the status of these as well. So you can get some really, really good information from just associating the contacts, etc., with the um, with the campaigns. But also we get our deals. So any deal that is associated or completed 
um, with association with the campaign that we've created. So obviously when you create a deal, you associate it with the campaign, you will be able to see the financial information about that deal. So you can see that at the moment we have got zero open deals. So open deals are deals going through the different stages of the pipeline. And obviously revenue is the number of closed deals associated with this campaign as well. So you can see that information, you can see the cost as well. So you actually get a really good insight into the success of the campaign, how much money you've made, how well it's done, okay? And again, if you scroll down, you can go ahead, associate the deals from here, or obviously you can associate the deals when you create a new deal. Now we are also able to select all of our records uh, let's say contact for example and we can create new campaigns from them we can send emails or we can mass update member status so obviously we can change it from the uh, the setting we set earlier received and we can update all of the records or the records that we select so maybe we want to change it to uh, open for example so if we update that that will update accordingly if we go back to our stats as you can see here that has now changed so managing your marketing inside of your zoho crm system is really really simple using the campaigns is a great feature. Now I will be doing a video on how to manage marketing from the back end of the system. There are some really, really useful features uh, in the back end of the Zoho CRM system like scoring rules, segmentation, um, and marketing attribution as well. So I will be doing a video in due course on how to use those. One other thing that is worth mentioning, um, and it may help with your marketing to an extent, is using tags. Now if you're not familiar with tags, I'm just gonna head over to our contacts area and I will demonstrate what a tag is. So if you go to the actions up the top right hand corner here, use the drop down menu and then go to manage tags. Tags is essentially where we can assign a tag to a record and you can assign multiple tags to multiple records, but it'd be a great way to manage the information or manage certain records um, if you wanna break them down based on certain information. So if we create a new tag, and um, we'll call this example tag, we can assign a color to the tag as well. So let's make it pink and then just select it and that new tag has been created. Press the save button, you can see that's now been added. And then if we click back, what we can do is select maybe let's say two records, go to the tags drop down menu and we can add and or remove tags as well. So we can assign the example tag to both of these records here. So now we know that there is an association for some reason and obviously you can create tags for absolutely anything. So like maybe these two contacts are always engaged with our emails, for example, so we wanted to tag them, or maybe, uh, I don't know, you can, <laughs> so many different options. And then if you go back to the actions, go to manage tags again, you'll be able to see the two, the number that is two, there are two records associated with that particular tag. So tags are also very useful, but obviously, Everything is gonna be managed from your campaigns area. If we click on any campaign, again, you can see the information as well. Hopefully you are now all set to manage marketing inside of your Zoho CRM system. If the video has been at all helpful, it would be greatly appreciated if you could drop it a like, possibly even subscribe. If you have any further questions at all, you are more than welcome to comment below, or you can drop me an email. My details are in the description below, and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.